Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I have another message to bring to you. I've been fooling around with my OBS software. I fixed my microphone back up on top, so the other one was a little muffled. I apologize for that. The one I just put up today, which is the 5th of October. All right, this one I received in my email on the 3rd of October, and it's only got a short one by Bill Burns and then a message, a big one. All right, let's get started. I don't know if you can see me or not, but I'm pretty sure you can see the messages. Okay, the trumpet by Bill Burns goes, says, This is a brand new day. Many will miss it. But if you will seek to understand that which I am doing, you will walk this new path of life with me. You will know those things that are going to take place because I will reveal them to you. I will show you my plans for this season. Didn't there, wasn't there a word in that other one talked about this season? I think so because I thought about trying to find a picture of fall and leaves falling to represent a new season. Okay, but anyway, moving on. When these plans are completed, you will be strengthened and reach new spiritual heights. Boy, that's what we all want. Oh, I'm sorry, there's another one here by Marsha Burns. Small straws. It's supposed to be in a soft wind. All right. I would have you begin again with new perspective. This will require that you forgive every person who has offended and hurt you, no matter how long ago. And that you bless and release them. You must also forgive yourself and release yourself to me for purification and forgiveness. You cannot continue to hurt others because when you hurt them, you hurt me. And alienate yourself from my blessings. Wow. Well, I don't continue to hurt people, but I did find myself dwelling on... Or thinking about maybe maybe Jesus brought them t these things to my remembrance some things my last husband did to me that I thought you know I'd forgiven him for everything but I found myself getting downright angry I felt like calling him up and saying you remember when I said Lord forgive me I forgive him for those things too I thought I had forgiven him for everything. Moving on. You might need to do a little bit of soul searching and see if there's anybody. Ask the Lord. Lord, reveal to me anybody I need to forgive. Okay? You don't want to be guilty of harboring unforgiveness in your heart. Mark 11, 25 to 26 says, And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. And we all have them, brothers and sisters. Every one of us have trespasses. That's sins, things we fall short on, things we could have done better, things we said we shouldn't have said. You know what I mean. And things we do that we shouldn't do. Okay. Dear Lord, I want to pray over this message here. Because I don't know this name. Trupti Desai. I pray for extra measure of discernment for me and my subscribers and anybody who watches this. And may we all be able to have the knowledge and discernment we need to discern who's getting words from you versus their self, or even worse, from the enemy. We know how tricky, tricky, tricky Satan and his minions can be. They can sound so truthful, but all it takes is one line of lie to ruin the whole message. You know why? Jesus said, one uh, a morsel of leaven, how did he word it? A, a little bit of leaven le leavens the whole lump. 
In other words, uh, a little a little spot of rottenness on an apple, you leave it sit there. It's like sin, unrepentant sin. It's going to eventually rot the whole apple. Okay? That's some examples that we got from the Lord. I'm pretty sure he did the apple one. Or maybe I heard that from a teacher. I'll have to look it up, to be honest. Been a long time ago since I heard about the apple. The rotten apple. The little bit of rot will rot the whole apple. But I know the leaven is in the Bible. A little bit of leaven leavens the whole lump. If you don't need much. That represents sin. Proverbs 12.3 says, A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, for victory is near. See how the stars fall and the oceans rise. Hail and thunder to arrive soon. All will seem dark. Remember, the darkest hour is before the dawn. A true reckoning is about to come to pass. A mighty fall of the wicked. They laughed and mocked me, thinking that their deliverer would save them. Satan, you have been put on notice. Stand down once more. Your time is up. That's where I'm not exactly sure. Let's continue. Satan is under my authority. He cannot command the seas. He cannot declare victory. He is a liar and a thief. Yes, he is. He comes only but to steal, kill, and destroy. He has no power. See that too, I he does have power. He has a lot of power. But compared to God, he doesn't. So it's relative. He has no authority over my believers. That's right. If you're living right, and you... There's a bug in here. And you know where you stand with the Lord, and you have on your armor of God, there's nothing he can do to harm you. You just have to keep battling him. And yeah, we get battle weary. We get tired of rebuking demons and casting them out. But we have to continue until we're out of here. Alright. He has no protection from above. Absolutely none. He is a charlatan and a deceiver. The wicked who have followed him. Who have given their allegiance to his ways. Their days are numbered. One by one, they will fall, fall from high towers, declares the Lord. One and all will fall. You see what he's saying? Then see sudden destruction in D.C. See justices resign. They chase each other like rats, disgusting and vile from the underworld talked about that in the last one. They're going to run into their deep underground military bases. And John saw it as them saying, rocks fall on us. But really, it was they were probably yelling, close the doors, close the doors. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we know that Revelation, the book of Revelation, is not written word for word what's going to happen, is it? The Lord left it that way for a reason. All right, let's continue. Watch the vermin destroy each other. Watch them fall under great pressure from the righteous ones who have stood against great evil. I say to stand, and when you have done all to stand, stand in the face of evil, and I, the true deliverer of your soul, will stand with you. Oops. There is none other that will save you, none other than the Lord of the universe, the creator of your very existence. Stop the shenanigans. Stop the lies. Stop the wickedness. It is time for fiery justice. The banner of justice goes to the east, west, south, and north. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Watch Australia fall. Watch the United Kingdom fall. Watch China fall. A flood of great proportions will swallow up much evil. All that they hid will be revealed to shock the world like never before. Never before has such calamity come upon the earth in such a manner. It is a sight to behold. Stand strong, my beloved. Stay in prayer. Your voices have been heard in heaven. See, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little wondering why it doesn't say watch USA, watch America fall. Because most of the messages we've been getting, this might be from a person from overseas. Okay, that's what I was saying. I'm not familiar with this person who got this. It could be from overseas. And we've been, people in America have been getting messages about America. Okay, we'll move on. He says, stay in prayer. Your voices have been heard in heaven. We are near a new era. A new beginning, a kingdom age. That's right, it's called the 1,000 year millennial reign of Christ, y'all. A time for the old to pass away, and the time to arrive, and the new to arrive. Gone are the ways of the old. Churches to arise. Churches fall in great thunder. Churches to arise. Churches fall in great thunder. In an instant they will be gone. Empty buildings lost like relics. Full of expectation once more will the true church deliver. Full of the Holy Spirit to guide them into the kingdom age. Do not fear, do not fear, do not fear, says the Lord of hosts. Great victory is at hand. Be blessed, be strong, be mighty, says the Lord of hosts. Truth, no more can they hide. I am here. Breathe. He always has been. Your father who are in heaven. That's the end of the message. I like that message. Please feel free to leave your comments. Just keep them nice, respectful, and they'll stay up. All right? Um, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And over all of us, each and every one of us, and our devices, and our internet connections. I hope y'all are seeing me a little bit in this. I tried fiddling with the OBS to get it to act right. I still didn't see myself in there, so I don't know if you will or not. So anyway, I guess with that, I'm going to end it. And uh, I did figure out why... My videos were being cut off. I've been doing it myself. When I click stop recording, I've been double clicking it. Which, it's one click, it says stopping recording. And another click stops it. So apparently, there's a delay. It has to catch up before it stops. Anyway, so now I know... And I think you've all gotten the majority of the messages I put up or whatever video I've shared, whatever I've said. Most of it, the ones I've gone back and reviewed, some things like a prayer. Oh, I asked y'all, pray with me the Lord's Prayer. That got cut off, things like that. Anyway, I'm going to hit stop now and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Keep looking up, brothers and sisters. Our redemption draws nigh.